students today we will start our new topic fundamental concept in organic reaction mechanism in this topic we will study about the electron displacement effect in covalent bonds in which we will cover electromeric effect and hyperconjugation effect and lastly we will study about the type of organic reaction and the mechanism this chapter is very important for the fundamental concepts in organic reaction mechanism electromeric effect so electromeric effect is a temporary effect and it is defined as the complete transfer of shared pair of pi electrons to one of the atoms joined by a multiple bond when an reactant attacking reactant approaches that molecule okay this is a temporary effect and this is because of the approaching attacking reagent and this is also the complete transfer of shared pair of pi electrons so this will take place only in presence of attacking reagent and this is just a temporary effect so if the reagent is removed then no such polarization earlier we see permanent polarization the plus r effect resonance effect and inductive effect okay both these were permanent polarization this is temporary this is only till the attacking reagent demands so now the attacking reagent in this case is h plus so it demands the electron from the alkene so this pi bond will shift to one of the carbon atom where this attacking reagent approaches so the bond will be formed between this carbon and hydrogen and there will be positive charge on the other carbon atom similarly opposite to this one a uh, negatively charged attacking reagent so this will attack on this carbon atom and then the bond will shift towards this side okay so nucleophile will attack then it will shift this side this when electrophile is attacking then it is shifting here okay electron is shifting towards where the electrophile is attacking here in case of nucleophile electron is shifting away from where the electrophile is attacking similarly we will also distinguish the electronic effect as plus e effect or minus e effect so plus e effect or positive electronic effect is when pi electrons are transferred to the atom to which the reagent gets attached so it will be plus e effect and minus e will be just opposite of it away from the carbon atom on which the attacking reagent is attacking okay or it will be towards that atom on which the attacking reagent is not getting attached okay so in positive electronic effect the shift will be on that atom on which the attacking reagent is getting finally attached whereas in negative electronic effect it will move towards that atom on which the attacking reagent is not getting attached okay so suppose if both inductive effect and electronic effect they operate on the same molecule and they have the opposite direction then how you are going to decide whether electronic effect will dominate or inductive effect will dominate okay so recall inductive effect was partial shift of electron whereas electronic effect is the complete shift of electron that's why this electronic effect will predominate why electronic effect is predominating because in electronic effect there is complete shift of electron though it is temporary but it is complete shift whereas in inductive effect it is only partial shift so whenever in any question both these effect are operating and they are operating in opposite direction so ambiguity will arise as to how we are going to decide so in that case we'll decide on the basis of electromeric next is hyperconjugation so hyperconjugation is generally a stabilizing interaction and it is permanent effect and it involves delocalization of the sigma electrons between ch bond carbon hydrogen bond 
in an alkyl group directly attached to an atom of unsaturated system that is the double bond between carbon and carbon atom or to an atom which has an unshared p electron for example take this example it is ethyl cation so in ethyl cation it has got six state electron only six electron so one p orbital will be vacant so now this sigma bond between carbon and hydrogen they will start interacting and there will be delocalization of this sigma electron and it will shift this ch bond to this cc bond and there will be a carbon carbon double bond and h plus okay so if we see another example in which ch3 ch2 plus so we have seen the interaction so now the interaction will take place between this ch or it can take place between this ch bond or this could between this ch bond so we will generate different hyper conjugating structure as we had done the resonating structure similarly here we can get hyper conjugating structure so suppose this hydrogen and this carbon they have the single bond so now if this bond shift to this side so we'll get a cc double bond and h plus similarly if these two will interact then there will be h plus and c double bond then again with the lower hydrogen so as the number of hydrogen atoms are attached to the adjacent carbon we will get hyper conjugating structure for each of these hydrogen atom so hydrogen atom just attached to the alpha carbon atom is going to decide the total number of hyper conjugating structure total number of a structure will be n plus 1 where n is equal to total number of alpha hydrogen atom alpha hydrogen atom means the number of atom adjacent to the carbon site under investigation or the carbon site which we are considering okay so this is alpha carbon how many number of hydrogen atom attached to it is 3 1 2 3 so total there should be four hyper conjugating structure you can clearly see 1 2 3 4 1 will be for this and another three will be because of the hyper conjugation we have seen that it is the stabilizing effect so how it is stabilizing the it was the carbocation it has got six state of electron okay has got one unfilled p orbital total six electron but in this structure you see both the carbon atom they have the complete octet octet means stability so again here stability here again stability okay so overall the hyper conjugation effect will stabilize and how they are stabilized it is by shifting the sigma bond between carbon and hydrogen towards the carbocation so by shifting this bond it will lower the positive charge concentrated on the carbon atom and the positive charge is being dispersed between the carbon atom over here and the three hydrogen atoms adjacent to the carbon atom attached to the carbocation so because of this dispersion of the positive charge the overall lowerization of the energy will take place and the carbocation will get stabilized so now recall in the carbocation we did that as we move from 1 degree carbocation to 2 degree carbocation then to 3 degree carbocation okay so stability of the carbocation was increasing that time i told you that the stability is increasing because of the hyper conjugation effect and inductive effect as the number of hyper conjugating structure will increase its stability will increase just see in 1 degree carbocation it has got 3 alpha hydrogen so total 4 hyper conjugating structure in 2 degree it has got 3 3 6 so total hyper conjugating structure is 7 in 3 degree it has got total 9 alpha hydrogen so total 10 hyper conjugating structure so higher the number of hyper conjugating structure higher is the stability okay so that's why 3 degree carbocation is more stable than 2 degree which is more stable than 1 degree which is more stable than methyl 
carboketan similarly you can analyze it with the help of inductive effect it has got one methyl group so it will have less inductive effect plus i effect and there are two so more plus i effect there is three methyl groups so more plus i effect here in inductive effect and hyperconjugating effect the more dominating effect is hyperconjugating effect so we will analyze based on the more dominant effect that is hyperconjugating effect so now let's analyze the hyperconjugation when the delocalization of electron is because of the double bond again so now here there is double bond carbon carbon okay and then there is ch bond hydrogen is there so here the delocalization will take place so now these two will form the bond cc double bond and this bond will shift over here so there will be a negative charge okay. similarly the other two hydrogen again this hyperconjugating structure will be obtained so overall this hyperconjugation is delocalizing the electron the sigma electron between carbon hydrogen towards the carbon carbon double bond alkene pi bond system so it will increase the electron density of the pi bond system this hyperconjugation is also regarded as no bond resonance as you can see that the bond between carbon hydrogen is being broken in all these cases that's why it is also regarded as no bond resonance there are different types of organic reaction and the mechanism and they are classified as four types first is substitution reaction second is addition reaction third is elimination reaction and fourth is rearrangement reaction we'll study about these reaction in detail in class 12th that's all for the chapter so after this chapter what should you be able to do is first you should uh, be able to explain how the fission of covalent bond takes place and its type homolytic and heterolytic and why the fission is taking place and in which medium the types of fission will take place then explain about the nucleophile and electrophile and their stability and their stability order of the carbocation then uh, how the electronic movement is in the organic reaction will take place how you are going to represent the uh, electronic movement of electron pair by a arrow and for a single electron it will be by half arrow or the fish hook next uh, recall about the importance of electron displacement in covalent bonds because of this electron displacement there will be a electron rich center and electron deficient center and accordingly electrophile or nucleophile they could attack so this electron displacement is basically helping in attack by the electrophile or nucleophile that is a reagent so it is assisting the reagent next uh, recall about the inductive effect that sigma bond and resonance effect that is the because of the pi bond electronic effect that is because of the react whenever a reagent is approaching this is temporary effect these two were the permanent effect and lastly that is the hyperconjugating effect that could take place only between the sigma bond of carbon hydrogen which is attached to a carbon atom having a pi bond vacant p orbital or which is having a pi bond that is c double bond c bond to it then only hyperconjugation effect will take place okay thank you